All right, how do you get really good at coding? Let's boil it down a little bit. A lot of you guys seem to ask me stuff like this. And uh, I wanna to try to simplify it down and give you some, some useful answers. It's a hard question to answer, actually, but you all already know the answer, that's the thing. Step one, the, the main thing you gotta do, at least for me, I'm gonna speak for what worked for me. I don't know what's gonna work for everybody. And I don't have all the answers. I'm not some some guru on the subject, if you will. But I can say what worked for me. And it was basically just having an end goal that needed a means to an end. I mean, programming and coding, think about it, is a means to an end. We really just use it to build things, to do things, to do work. So you need something that you want to accomplish. You need some work that you want to do to build to that. And Tabby, my, my friend Tabby will attest to this, right? So I can say for me, it was the desire to want to make games and tools for games that really got me going. And C++ seemed to be the best way to do that. That's why I started learning C++. And obviously I need to get good at it if I'm gonna do it well. So that was my goal, was to basically get good at C++ and start trying to make stuff. So I guess that leads me to step two or tip number two. Study hard, work hard, try hard, and make stuff at the same time. So you need to be going through some kind of course, so you need to be going through some kind of learning scale, all right? If you don't know something, look it up. We have the internet look it up you can look up anything you can answer you can get answers to about any question you have especially on little technical tools they're out there if you want tutoring for me you can sign up on the patreon and i can uh help you with that <laughs> i gotta get this on camera you got some coffee this is smittens the kitten please adopt smittens someone adopt smittens smitten needs a home I'm being smitten by this kitten. So yeah, for me, what I ended up doing, because I didn't really know what to do exactly, I didn't know how to start, but a lot of people are in that situation, is I started a computer science degree. I basically dropped a lot of my other hobbies and said, forget everything else. I'm getting this degree. I'm learning this stuff the best I can because I have a goal. and. Uh, and this is how I get, this is how I start. This is how I get there. Or this is at least how I start to get there. If I'm not gonna, you know, I didn't expect to get there in one degree, but all right, Smittens, you're in my way. All right, and I don't know about you, but for me, I have a lot of respect for anyone that's trying. I don't. It doesn't matter to me how good they are. It doesn't matter to me where they are. If I see someone actually trying and actually going for it. It inspires me so I would encourage you to do the same I know in a lot of situations you don't feel like you could do it and that kind of stuff we all feel that let me tell you we all feel that and and it's sort of true I mean maybe you can't but you can start taking small steps to get there you might not know how to do all this stuff but you could figure out a few things and then you can come back again tomorrow and you can figure out a few more things and eventually you'll climb the mountain. That's that's the theory. So yeah, have some kind of learning plan. Don't give up. Keep going for it. You you will get there eventually. You just kind of have to trust in that. All right. I guess I'm gonna go for tip number three. This one's a little weird. Not even that related to, to code necessarily. And it's basically double down on the things you know are right. Double down, and get rid of the things you know aren't right. It's going to be hard. It's going to be really hard. At least it was for me. Now, I think you can kind of take this with a grain of salt. You don't necessarily need to cut off every single thing. Some of them just might need to be toned down. Like, uh, I love video games and all, but I can only play them so much, so I have to limit myself to some point. Otherwise, I'll just play them too much. And, you know, and that that's it's a weird dichotomy, at least for me, because... Video games are basically the reason I started coding, so why would I give them up? You know, it's kind of a weird thing, but 
they're a huge time sink, so that can be a problem. So you've got to kind of address these things carefully. However, there are some things that you know are totally useless, or maybe that's not the best way to say it, but you know don't do you any, any good. And those definitely, I think, need to go. Dare I give specific examples on that? I don't know. Maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. Uh, I don't know, for me, I guess, that, you know, I had some old friends that, while they were cool and all and fun to hang out with and maybe hilarious and we got along well, the reality was, well, they didn't really want to do anything other than, like, sit around and smoke cigarettes and drink beer. And, like, what, what does that lead to? Where are you going with that? It doesn't really work well for growth and development. So yeah, that's uh, that's kind of where I learned to kind of double down, spend more time on the things that I know I want to do. And there's, you know, everybody I guess has, you probably know deep down inside what it is and it might be hard to admit because maybe you have friends or family that condone the whole thing or say you can't do it and that kind of stuff. And those are the ones to watch out for. Those are people you know you need to get rid of when someone says something like that. At least for me, that's always the final straw. And the crazy thing about it is it's not even that they're wrong. It's just that they're in this anti-growth mindset. I don't know if I want to go into too much detail on this one. I don't want to get too personal. But you know you know the type of people I'm talking about. They're the ones that kind of stay stuck themselves. And it's almost like they're talking to themselves saying they can't do it. But you know in your head what you can do and what you can't do. And, you know, maybe you can't do it right now like I was talking about earlier. But you can take steps to get there. That's the really important thing to know is is that it's not that they're wrong it's just that they don't understand how to climb steps but if you know that it's a possibility one day you understand how to climb steps and you're different you don't need you don't need that it's not going to help you and they're probably not going to do anything but drag you down all right a few more tips i'm just going to ramble a little bit here Maybe you guys would find this interesting, maybe you're not, I don't know. But just another thing that really helped me a lot. And it, this one was probably the hardest and probably still is to this day. It's basically to cut off drama. I know this sounds crazy because you guys probably see me as a somewhat dramatic person being on YouTube and occasionally like blasting people and stuff like that. But that's kind of, it just comes with the territory. <laughs> I basically do it. To cap off an end when I do something like that it's the end for me you know that's that's the end of the story I don't deal with it anymore this is another really important thing to realize is that once you're an adult you can't really teach people all right people can learn from you but they have to want to if someone's like kind of toxic around you you can't just teach them to treat you better they're always going to be that way until they change and you have no control over that. So the best thing to do is get out of that. And it's it's pretty hard, but that's the reality of the situation. And you'll find you'll find good ones. There are a lot of good ones out there. I've met a lot of you. A lot of met a lot of really great people and still friends with a lot of great people. But the ones that weren't or don't, they have to go. And this this is how you get good at things this is how you build yourself up at least I believe that now I'm not saying this is an end-all be-all I'm not trying to sell you anything I'm just saying this is what works for me that's that's all so I just want to make that clear all right that's probably the most important thing there is to just realize like, how important your time is how important your flow is you have your own flow you don't need anybody else to really tell you it you have it it's naturally inside you you just kind of got to hone it and work on things day to day and and just just realizing that you cannot teach people is was huge for me especially as someone who tries to like teach code but that's not even what I do I realize I, I realize I just kind of show processes and whether people learn from it or not I really have no control over it's totally up to them whether they do that and it's the same way with how people treat you and how you and the people you surround yourself with you notice someone that's sort of consistently that way and you say hey I need you to change this they won't they can't they probably can't they might try that's different I guess you know like I said it's up to them so maybe they can but once again it's not something you have control over so whether they do or don't 
isn't up to you. I still think people should be honest and should be open about saying stuff like that, about, uh, you know, kind of respecting time and boundaries and that st that kind of thing. But when someone shows you that they don't or won't, that needs to go because you're never going to get anything done. You're never going to build your life up to where you want to be if you keep listening to those types of people and keep following those types of people or and keep being around them because I, I do believe it is true that you are who you surround yourself with. All right, last tip, and this is probably the hardest one for me. Try not to spend too much time on menial tasks you're not getting anything out of. And there's a, there's a difference for like entertainment and, you know, rel relaxation time. But there are a lot of things, like for example, this video right here, I could, I could spend days and days editing this and it ain't going to get much better. It's probably just going to be better in its raw form in the end. Like all these weird intricacies of you seeing this hanger in my router, that's going to be way more interesting than any edit I could put into this video. So I could, I could literally put 40 hours working on this video editing it, but it's a complete waste of time because it's not even going to make a difference. It's probably just going to make it worse. So be careful what you're spending your time on. Once you know what you want to do, just get it done the best you can and move on. You got to release it, put it out there. That's super big too. I, this is really hard too. I know a lot of us work on little projects here and there and we don't put them out. But once you have something you're proud of, make a little front for it. Don't be fake. Say, hey, maybe this is whatever. I spent this, you know, a little preamble of like, I'm new at this can make a big difference if you know your project is not very good because then people will at least, you know, view it from that eye of, oh, okay, you've only got 10 hours experience or something. You're not, you're not a professional. I get it. But hey, this is not, they might say something like, hey, this is not bad for where you're at. And that's, that's what you need. You need it. This is not bad for where you're at. You can't always be perfect. So be real careful about that. I hope these tips help you guys. I hope you uh, have some good growth and learn a lot in 2023 don't take everything here exact as i do do it your own way you're probably better at this stuff than me in some ways good luck with everything let me know what you're working on let me know your goals um jump in the discord if you want if you want to do some one-on-one -on -one stuff join the patreon there's a 50 dollars tier to get an hour session with me if you want me to help you with anything so take it easy guys i really appreciate you all the supporters and uh, everyone I've learned from.